in the country of hearts and, and welcome back we're on chapter 34 before the final chapter 35 and then we'll move on to another book in the series um in the country of clovers so yeah guys i don't know what order we're going to do this because i tried to set an app in order for the books online and i seriously cannot find the order in which they came out but even then some of the stories are still ongoing so i'm going to cover the ones that are completely finished right now um, I remember guys, tomorrow a new book will be out to buy in the stores. It will be Alice in the Country of Jokers, Circus, and Liars, Volume 7. I believe it's Volume 7, the final book for that, um, story. So, yeah guys, we'll finally get to find out what the heck is going on in that storybook. It's just confusing the hell out of me. Anyway hey guys, um, we're on chapter 34. Now, in the last chapter, a lot happened. Alice finally went ahead and told Julius that, yeah, she was going to go home. She made her decision, but she said, I've always been saying I was going to head home anyway. And Julius asked if that's what she really wanted. All you know, she looked really sad, like she didn't want to go. It's kind of obvious she didn't want to go, but after apparently confirming Blood has a clock for her heart and um, she's an outsider, apparently that will be a problem. Anyway. All the while, somehow Peter already knew about Alice's decision and was furious. He went ahead and murdered several of Ace's soldiers, plus one of the king's maids. And of course, there was a confrontation between Ace and Peter because Ace went ahead and told him that if he wanted to really go see Alice, he would have just done so already. And that he himself does not love Alice the same way. But Peter already knew that it didn't matter what he says, he cannot affect Alice's decision because she doesn't care for him the same way she does for someone else. Ding, 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 ding. If you know who I mean. Elsewhere, Vivaldi, while watching the confrontation between Peter and Ace, finally got up out of her chair and headed to the secret rose garden. Upon entering the garden, she found blood, where she went to hide and asked him if he was going to do something about Alice and that she was the only... He indeed was the only one that could make her happy. But upon turning around and telling his sister he had no idea what she was talking about, Vivaldi had enough. She went over to the little brother, grabbed him, and gave him a smack. She said they always fight, but she hasn't slapped him in a long time. Then she proceeded to tell him that she no longer depend on him, and walked away, leaving blood with his thoughts. He then appears to look over at the table where, indeed, Alice and Vivaldi were having a nice conversation, and they were having fun. It's like a old memory that seems to fade away, the happiness was gone. Alice would soon be leaving, and he will never get to see that again. Now, what will Blood do? Will he admit his feelings for Alice, or will he just keep them to himself? How far is he willing to go? Or is he going to be as dense as Alice and not admit his feelings? Anyway... Chapter 34, End of Dream. No! Anyway, this is a lovely photo of none other than Alice with Vivaldi. I think, personally, I think Vivaldi might actually represent her sister Vivaldi in the sign. If you look at the clothing Vivaldi wears, it is actually similar to some of the style of outfit that, indeed, the um, Lorena was wearing. That funny thing on top of Lorena's part up here, I... And with the bow, it seems that in a presentation, we know this is Alice's dream. It's possibly that Vivaldi is based around um, a similarity to Lorena. She doesn't look like Lorena, but she does have like a similar, um, you know, ladiness to her and the styles. Might as well the hearts, of course. Anyway. <clears throat> I wonder how long I've been in this world. Hmm. It seems like it's been quite a while. Peter suddenly appeared in the garden and brought me here. Day, evening, and even night come around me, so I can't depend on my sense of time. I don't know how much time has passed in my own world. The Country of Hearts This picture right here would be awesome in colour, in all fairness it would. I'm going to have to zoom into the areas. So that's Hard Castle. Um, where's the... Let's see... Hard Castle, um, the amusement park's down here, um, that's the Hatter's Manor, the Clock Tower, Clock Tower, Clock Tower, where is the Clock Tower? It's supposed to be like right in the dead center, I'm assuming, is she on the Clock, yeah, she's on the Clock Tower, 
Okay, never mind that. I was like, where's the clock tower? She's on it. Never mind. Okay. The amusement park is over there. Boris and of course Golan. Hat Castle is that way. Peter, Vivaldi, and Ace. And this is the clock tower. Oh, okay, so she is on the clock tower. And over there is Hatter Manor. Hatter's Mansion. Oh yeah, that's just the scene you want to remember. Throb. Blood. Uh. Alice? Huh? Vivaldi! You were going to leave without saying goodbye? I'm sorry, I... I didn't... I don't seem to have the time to see everyone. So you really are returning to your world? Yes. Because this is a dream. I could just slap you right now. A dream? Yes, this is a dream. Huh? Hmm? So, you did come, blood to pray. Dreams shouldn't exist. That's what I thought. Dreams are true. No matter how much fun you they are, you eventually wake up. You're right. But what on earth is this? Is no one else coming to see you off? It can't be helped. I haven't told anybody that I'm returning to my own world. I mean, you told Julia, so that's wrong. Fools. They should be able to guess that much. What is right? <laughs> And are so independable. Indeed. <laughs> if a man in your world makes you cry, we shall chop off his head. You, you can't do that. Mm, just watch me. We cannot. That is the rule. <sighs> oh. <laughs> this is the way things are here. We cannot assist you in your world. As we told you before, be strong, Alice. I will. <laughs> hmm? You're like my older sister, Vivaldi. I always spend Sunday afternoon in the garden with her like this. She was always worried about me. She worried about me more than she worried about herself. Because my sister is like that. I like to return quick and reassure her. Hmm. Alice, your sister... Uh, no, it's nothing. Well... <clears throat> We we shall go now. Uh, wait, Vivaldi. Thank you. One last thing. One, no one is more unconventional than he. So be prepared. That is all. He, who's he? Uh, uh, this is, I see, the end. Uh, oh well, it's better than going down a rabbit hole, I suppose. And back in the other world. <gasps> Alice. Hmm. <laughs> Alice. Is she gone? All of you are such fools.
this place says nightmare? Is he not here? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Turn. Goodbye, country of hearts. Hmm. Is this what you want? <laughs> yes. If you always wake up from a dream, all I need to do is end the dream. You're more like a dream demon than I am. Hatta. <laughs> Who do you think I am? I can make you understand too. When I graduate from school, I'll leave home and work in publishing. Leaving home might make my sister unhappy, but I want to become independent. Chapter 35. The final chapter. Wonderful Wonder... Wonder World. Okay, guys, that's the end of that chapter. <gasps> now, oh my god, so much happened. Alice finally returned back home. But... Vivaldi went to see her and told her that somebody, you, he might still surprise you. And apparently at the last second, everyone became aware that Alice had left. And Alice, of course, does tell Vivaldi that she does indeed remind her of her sister Lorena. That I did say at the start, obviously. She does remind me of Lorena. The way she acts, the way, you know, she's with Alice. And honestly, though... She told, she told Julius, I don't know why she said she told nobody, she did tell Julius, but fine. Peter, of course, was very upset, and some reason or another, Blood somehow ended up in the dream world to where Nightmare was. I'm not really sure how he can do that, unless, of course, he fell asleep, and maybe all dreams are connected to Nightmare's world. Most likely. But what is Blood going to do? He himself has a vial in his hand, the exact same vial that Alice had. Now we know by drinking the vial it will send you home. Or make you forget the dream. But why does Blood have the vial as well if Alice had the vial with her? Is it the same vial or a different vial? Hmm, we'll need to find out in the next chapter. And of course, the final chapter! Oh my god, so much happened! I thought she said goodbye, and oddly enough, how the chapter ended was Alice thinking about what she's going to do when she leaves school. Okay, then. And of course, she was following a ticking of a clock. That's why I had to constantly say tick-tock, tick-tock. But I can't believe it, guys. We're nearing the end, the final chapter of this amazing book. What is going to happen in the grand finale? There's actually a continuation into the next lot of books. Oh my god, stay tuned for the last chapter of Alice in the Country of Hearts, book 6.